There's more than one way to skin a cat. Dave from Dead. What the fuck is with that saying? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. Dave, my man from Denver, Colorado. Dave, well, you're, you're living in Denver right now, brother, but you're actually from Parma, Ohio, which is where we're from. Holton Wise is headquartered in Parma, Ohio, which is a suburb bordering Cleveland, folks. Uh, one of our office locations, the one you guys are familiar with, the property management headquarters, 4207 Brook Park Road. If you cross the street, we're in Parma, right? If you cross the street, that's Cleveland. That's how close Parma and Cleveland are to each other. So Dave, dude, you used to live uh, here in Parma, right? I graduated Parma High. I'm sure you probably either graduated from maybe Parma High, Normandy, or Valley Forge, something like that, I would imagine. Uh, but you are currently living in Denver, Colorado. You want to invest back home. And as I understand it, brother, you got a couple buddies uh, that also have some cash. And you guys are uh, thinking about doing something together. You know, you guys hook up and uh, create a little fund. And you guys create your own little uh, property investment company. And they want you to be the guinea pig. Do a couple by yourself because you're from the area. Makes sense. Smart, smart, smart due deals inside of them. Make you be the guinea pig. Um, you know, put your money at play. But hey, that shouldn't be a problem because, dude, you're familiar with the area, right? If I was them, I'd want you to do this too, right? Uh, so that makes sense. You have $120,000 in cash to play with. You're opening to utilizing that as cash, uh, as cash, cash deals rather. Uh, you're open to financing it. You just want to, to get the biggest bang for your buck. You want some long-term cash flow. And uh, outside of keeping you out of extremely risky situations, you kind of gave me the go ahead to, to put together whatever I thought made sense for you. And uh, that's what I did. I found two single family homes, uh, you know, as inventory fluctuates, like, you know, as I'm making your video, as I've been working on finding you some properties here, I didn't really see anything that tickled my fancy as far as um, cash flow, uh, price to rent ratio wise on the multifamily space. You know, that could change though at the, at the drop, of a, a drop of a hat, right? Just at this very moment uh, while making your video and stuff. I, I didn't see any uh, deals that I thought were, were too hot as far as the multifamilies. The best things that I saw right here on the market right now, I thought were these two single families that were pretty hot opportunities that I thought you'd be interested in. And, uh, you know, notwithstanding the goofy ass phrase uh, that, dude, somebody, maybe somebody, if somebody knows, man, can somebody tell me in the comments, like, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Like, where in the hell did that come from? Which which one of you fucking creepy motherfuckers out there is skinning cats, man? You goddamn fucking weirdos. Uh, but anyway, right? What the phrase means is, you know, there's more than one way to do something, right? So these two single families, they are going to more or less have similar or the same numbers. Um, and they're going to end up with the same result, bro. But uh, you, you couldn't go about getting that same result with the same numbers in, in any different, like to, to any more different ways, right? So let me just jump into these properties so I could explain what the hell I'm talking about. 3027 West 101st, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. Being a Parma native, Dave, I'm sure you are, you know, super familiar with this neighborhood, dude. This is like literally right you know, northwest of us in Parma, dude, I'm sure, you know, in your younger days, you've, you've probably been up and down this neighborhood, you know, you know the drill, right? This is a, a C-class neighborhood, okay? And this home, listed by Plum Tree Realty 111 days ago, which is kind of a, a while, right? You know, if a property's priced right, it should sell quicker than that. Originally listed for a higher price, we've seen some price drops. Currently, it is at 65900 and I still think that is too high. The reason I think it is too high is because I think this house is just freaking destroyed, dude. Uh, currently, what we have though, right? We have a tenant. It's three bed, one bath, and we have a tenant and they're paying 900 bucks a month. So it brings in $10,800 a year. So looking at the numbers, this should make sense, right? 65K, 
uh, 900 bucks a month in rent, and it's government guaranteed. This is an Eden tenant, right? Eden is uh, more or less, it's very similar to the Section 8 program, guys. Very, very similar. Government pays the rent. Uh, it's a great program. It's very consistent. It really, uh, you know, takes higher risk investments and, and makes them much safer for us, guys. So Jay Wise is super pro Eden uh, or, or more or less pro any government backed program, right? As, as we uh, invest in in real estate, guys, our biggest issues, right, is, is turnover costs. Turnover happens because uh, tenant stops paying rent. We got a victim uh, or the tenant just wants to move, man. Maybe they're looking for something cheaper or this or that. I don't know. But those are our costs. Those will kill our returns, guys. And I find with the government guaranteed tenants, they typically stay longer. And then, of course, you don't have to worry about chasing down your rent, man. The government's paying the rent. So uh, everything sounds great. But why, why do I think this property is overpriced? Well, cruising through more of the photos, you can see why, dude. This house is freaking, dude. This is uh, this is, this is gross. Uh, this house is beat to hell. Like these white cabinets, dude. They're they're pretty grimy. Uh, you know, grime all over the door. We have a drop ceiling in the kitchen. That is always a red flag that we got a landlord who don't like to fix things the right way. What that means is you got some water coming in, probably a bathroom above it. And, uh, you know, instead of doing stuff the right way, homeboy doesn't want to fix it. He's cheap. Uh, so he throws a drop ceiling, tries to hide it, things like that, right? And just, you know, there's just junk everywhere. It's, it's not, you know, it's not nice. Um, looking at this one photo, right? Don't get distracted by like the toys in the right hand corner. What I want you to focus on is in the bottom left hand corner. You see that? It's a big old water bowl and a big old uh, dog food bowl, okay? I got I got a couple dogs in my house, man. I got little Yorkies, right? Them little smokes, right? Little dogs, right? Seven, eight pounders. And their water bowls are very tiny. Their, their food bowls are very tiny. Uh, those those are some big bulls right there. What that means is you got a big ass dog living here, man. Uh, big dog equals big poop, big poop, big pee, bro. Big problems, big chewing on shit, right? So you got a dog in here, right? You know, this is a nice clue we can see from this. We got sheets on the windows, right? So, you know, nothing is looking too hot, okay? Um, you know, and we, you know, last thing I want to say, right? We got a fridge just like chilling in uh, what is supposed to be the dining room, right? So. You know, the house itself has got some issues, okay? That doesn't mean like, oh, crap, it's a disaster. I think that could be an opportunity for you because of all all, all, the, all this stuff, right? I think it's going to scare away a lot of investors. So we got, you know, when you, when you go to sell a house, right, dude, think about this, right? You got owner-occupant buyers and you got investors. Well, right now, this particular house, owner-occupant buyers, they're not going to be trying to buy this property because it's got a tenant in there and the tenant beat the shit out of the house, right? So that right there, that's a whole bunch of people from the buyer pool. They're gone. Next, you have investors. Well, you have some investors who are just going to be scared off by all the gross stuff I just talked about. Like, dude, they're going to be like, fuck, man, this is a disaster. I don't want to deal with this shit. It's savage. Fuck this house, right? So a bunch of those investors, you're no longer competing with them. And then you got other investors who are like, oh, man, coronavirus. Fuck. Coronavirus. Ah! I'm scared. The world's going to end. Blah, 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 blah. Right. You got all these people freaking out about the coronavirus. So those are more investors that you don't have to compete with. So the buyer pool is going to be so much smaller because of that, which is why I think there's a huge opportunity. And I think you can pick this sucker up for $45,000. Okay. Now, the next turnover, bro, just so you know, you're going to have to put some money in this thing. Right, like the next turnover, we, we can go section eight and we'll rent this for probably about a thousand bucks. And you're gonna want to spend, you know, to do premium upgrades and fix all the bullshit. It's probably gonna be a, a ten or fifteen thousand dollar renovation. But here's the cool thing, man. This is the Eden tenant, dude. Yeah, it's kind of grimy, it's kind of gross, but dude, who's to say that uh, that means they're moving out? They've been there for a long time. Uh, they're government guaranteed, right? You know, they they they're cool with living like this, bro. So it's scaring away other buyers, but dude, they don't mind it. So maybe that ten, fifteen thousand dollars turnover that's coming your way, maybe that's not coming your way till twenty twenty two, twenty twenty four, twenty twenty eight, twenty thirty. I don't know, right? This tenant, you know, they've been chugging along for a while. They can keep chugging along. So a lot of that stuff that I just mentioned doesn't really matter to you till it's time for a turnover. Then expect ten to fifteen thousand. So we're gonna try to really, you know, play off, uh, you know, take advantage of the pros here and you know work around the cons, man. So with that 900 bones coming in, dude, what do we got? 
45, uh, we're going to save for repairs and maintenance, but you know, you know, you got a big turnover coming soon. So this is just like normal, like what you would normally save out of your rent. But I want you to know, you know, when this tenant does move out, I don't know what it's going to be. I want you to know though, notwithstanding the normal monthly averages of this chart, your next turnover will be a big one just based upon the things I've shown you. You know, if you were to buy this house vacant before you can put a new tenant in there, you'd have to do all that stuff, but you're just delaying that initial renovation for an undisclosed amount of time. Uh, but after that too, you're still going to calculate these particular numbers because, you know, this is just a rental game, right? This next tenant we put in there, that's not going to be the last tenant we ever put in your property. So, you know, this is what you're going to calculate expecting normal turnovers because dude, a 15, 10, $15,000 turnover is by no means a normal turnover, but this particular property is just beat to shit. So we're going to have to get in there and do everything. Right. Um, so all that said, though, 45 for repairs, maintenance, vacancy, non-payment, CapEx, taxes are cheap, low-value property here, so we get cheap taxes, 81. Insurance will only be 60 bucks. Click the show notes below, folks, to lower your insurance on any properties in Ohio, you know, Cleveland market, anything, or if you got properties in other states, you know, send our team an email. We'll lower your rate. We are appointed coast to coast uh, with farmers and a bunch of other insurance providers that we are able to sell for so we can lower you guys' insurance rates on your rental portfolios. Nah, don't, don't send us crap about your boats, your houses you live in. We don't mess with that. Let that be your own guy, right? We don't, if you get it, if your little daughter or your wife or you get a new car every six months, don't fucking bother my, my guys with that shit. That's not our thing. We, you know, we're not going to, tack on a bunch of random crap or talk to you about your house. We handle landlord business and we are the best in the world at that. So that's all we focus on. So leave the other stuff to your own insurance guy, but the landlord stuff, I guarantee you we do it better than him. So send us an email on that, right? This one, 60 bones a month. That's it. Water sewer, 75. Tenants will handle the lawn care. 90 bucks for the PM. So Dave, bro, 900 comes in. 444 goes out. I anticipate you're going to make an NOI of 459, right? If we pick it up at my target price, $45,000, that's a 12.2 cap. Now you have cash. You could do that, but you're also open to financing. And I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't finance it. Yeah, it's gross. It's grimy, but it, it'll still qualify for a loan. It's not too, too bad, right? So let's just go ahead and have you finance it, man. Have you stretch out that money, right? Have you stretch out the swans? Have you do a bunch of deals? So instead of putting up all 45,000, Let's just have you put up 11250 finance the other 33 k and bring home 317 after you pay off your mortgage. And that right there, man, that's a 33.8% cash on cash return. And uh, you already know up front that when this particular tenant moves out, that's going to be your big expense. But then after that, we're not renting for 900 anymore. We're renting for over 1000 and we got a nice, beautiful house. And we'll target Section 8. And uh, we'll get you a tenant that's going to stay for, you know, a long time, as long as we possibly can. C-class neighborhood, again, can't guarantee how long they'll stay. Can't guarantee you won't have any problems, but it's definitely not D or F class. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a safe investment. It's a, it's, a good, it's a good balancing act between price to rent ratios being great and safety. And then just to add in the Section 8 program makes that even safer, right? You asked me uh, to kind of elaborate a little bit on the Section 8 program. Here's the thing. Some investors are like, oh, Section 8. No, I don't want to do Section 8. I heard bad things about that. It's not Section 8 that uh, makes your tenants any more or less risky. It's the neighborhood quality and the housing stock, okay? Like tenants, you know, the neighborhoods are what pick the tenant base, right? So if you buy X property, it's going to come with X tenant base that's going to have a certain risk to them. It's not how they pay their rent via Section 8 or their jobs. It's the neighborhood that is going to choose the quality of the people. So in my opinion, Section 8 versus not Section 8, you know, when the asset is what's really determining the risk level, I think the Section 8 program itself kind of lowers the risk because these neighborhoods where Section 8 is popular and whatnot, you're already dealing with a high risk, higher risk tenant base uh, than if you were in really nice suburbs. Um, like, for instance, the tenant base in this Cleveland neighborhood is going to be higher risk than Parma, which is what you're used to. But, you know, you take a, a single family home like this with a thousand bucks or so a month in rent uh, in Parma, you want to do that. We can. Uh, but you're going to be paying probably $140,000 for the house for about the same amount of rent, right? Because there's more owner-occupied buyers that are driving the prices in Parma, right? 
Uh, so it's the tenant base that's going to differ, right? In, in this Cleveland neighborhood that I'm sure you're familiar with, the tenant base is already a higher risk base than the, the apartment tenant base. So let's take Section 8 just to know if we have all the same higher risk tenants, let's pick the one that's got the government guaranteed rent, right? That's my thought process on that. Uh, so what I want to do now, Dave, I want to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. Then I'm going to get into the next property, which is very, very different but still gonna pan out with the same numbers. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. All right, Dave, welcome back. Now the next property, okay? 512 Fairmount Avenue, Elyria, 44035. This is listed by Keller Williams at 59.9, listed a little bit over a month ago. Now this property is nice, dude. This is a nice, beautiful property, but I want to pick this up for you at the same price, 45,000. I want to try to get it for 45,000, but for very different reasons. Let's cruise through the photos, man. This thing was just renovated, okay? It's looking good. One of the things I wanna point out to you on the outside of the house there, you see that? That's an AC unit. Not a lot of the rental stock uh, in this particular market is gonna have AC like that. So that's gonna set us apart. In addition to that, right? What we have inside, totally renovated house, man. We got the reclaimed wood on the wall. We have a super nice modern uh, kitchen that's looking good. Everything is neutral colors, nice hardwood floors, super modern looking fixtures in the bath. I'm really digging that tile. It looks like these folks tried to flip this property. Looks like we got a new hot water tank. Looks like we got a new or newer furnace. Look at all that uh, new wood on the new rafters on the garage. You know, it might be a brand new garage here. So everything is looking good, right? Now, as far as rents go, we're going to end up at the same spot, right? We're getting 900 from the, the Eden tenant at the previous property. This one, I think we're going to get 900 too, even though the house is much more nice, you know, much more beautiful, right? It's, it's fresh, it's clean. But what this is, this is a two one, right? So we're going to lose a little bit of rent because we don't have, um, you know, an additional bedroom, okay? But 900 bucks, that's nothing to sneeze at. I want to pick it up for 45000 Now, the other house is just fucked up, right? Fucking Fucked, fucked it, man. That's fucked, right? Why do I want to pick this house up for the same price? Why, why do I believe it should be picked up for the same price? Well, outside of just price to rent ratios, man, which you gotta you gotta look at when you're buying these properties, okay? Sometimes investors forget about it. They they think if all the the numbers pencil out uh, in the property makes sense from a price to rent ratio perspective, I'm good to go. No, man, your due diligence doesn't necessarily need to stop there. It's it's about resale value as well. So what I've done is I pulled up the comps for you. And I, I specifically got two bedroom, one bathroom homes, okay? In Elyria within a quarter mile of this particular property. Five sold in the last year. Since I narrowed it down to only two bedroom homes, because you know, in, in you know, in, in the majority of neighborhoods in America, uh, like these types of priced neighborhoods here in the Cleveland market, let me just narrow it down to that, right? This, these types of Midwestern markets, these types of price point areas, right? The majority of the properties are gonna be three beds. So there's going to be less data 
for the two bedroom home. So it took me instead of six months for the comps, I had to pull them out for a year because I wanted to pull up five for you. Okay. Now these are all two ones. We have on the low end 28.5, another one at 40, one at 48, one at 48.5, one at 60. The one at 60 is very, very close to our comp. I would assume that is the comp that the listing agent utilized to try to, um, you know, set things in motion for this particular property. I believe they're trying to flip it, trying to sell it to a uh, owner occupant buyer. But the reason I think we can come in and pick it up for so much cheaper than that $60,000 price point is a couple things. One, they cheaped out on us, dude. They cheaped out when they did the reno, bro. They didn't do the driveway, right? It's not a concrete driveway. That is a gravel driveway. Now it's it's not really going to affect you. I'm not saying you need to put in a driveway. As a matter of fact, I don't recommend you put in a driveway at this time. You'll still be able to rent it for 900. I don't think the tenants are really going to matter or really going to mind it. But uh, so it's not going to matter at this time. But dude, they still didn't do it, right? It's going to affect resale value. That's for sure. The $60,000 comp had a concrete driveway. It's probably about a $10,000 driveway, right? So that's 10,000 off the price right there. And then I just think we need another 5,000 because we're going to try to get aggressive, try to get a deal for you, try to try to get it at a great price point. In addition, the cost is 10K, but they didn't do it, man. You know what? You know, that's a cost you would need to incur down the road cash as opposed to being put in uh put in your loan. So I think, you know, we got to punish them a little bit for that. We got to try to try to squeeze out uh, some money out of them, right? And if you pick this thing up at 45k, bro, you're right in line with the other comps, right? We got one at 48, one at 48.5, and then we're a little higher than the 28.5 and the 41, but I'm sure that 28.5 house is totally destroyed, right? This is renovated. And the $40,000 one, I don't have too much info, but we're we're priced right, right? 45 yeah, uh, you know, people talk about win-win deals. I don't think 45 would honestly be a win-win. I think it'd be probably a win for you and a little bit of a loss for that guy. But hey, man, let's punish that guy for uh, doing something stupid and getting cheap on us and, and not finishing the job, not doing the job right and getting us the driveway. I mean, that driveway is just unacceptable. Now, as for the numbers, man, it's, you know, pretty close to the last one, right? You know, similar things, same amount of rents going in, you know, more or less, we have, you know, approximately the same types of expenses going out because when we put one of these tenants in there, I want to do a section eight tenant here too, man. I, I think we're going to get a very similar tenant base. This, this, this neighborhood right here, I don't know how familiar with Elyria you are, right? You're from Parma. I know you're super familiar with old Brooklyn and 44111, you know, the neighborhood I just showed you, right? And then of course, old Brooklyn, I'm sure you're familiar with old Brooklyn. You know, the best way for me to describe Elyria to you, if you haven't been there, because Elyria is kind of far, right? It's, you know, like 45 minutes to the west of us. Elyria, I don't know how many Parma folks out here are hanging out in Elyria, but Elyria, it's basically old Brooklyn, dude. It's like the same class, right? So we're dealing with, you know, C-class stuff here, which is similar to the 44111 neighborhood from the first property, right? So we're going to have a very similar tenant, uh, similar experience, uh, with our types of tenant bases. I mean, we'll get the the better pick of the tenants because we've provided a really nice property, but you know, you still have the same issues that C-class tenants uh, are going to bring to you. So I anticipate the expenses over the long haul are going to be very similar to the other one, right? So 900 comes in, 452 goes out. If we picked it up at that beautiful price of 45,000, dude, that's a 12 cap. And if you decided you ended up wanting to finance it, man, same thing. We're dealing with the same kind of numbers, same kind of mortgages before. It's going to result in a 33% cash on cash return for you. So I think for very different reasons, both of these properties are going to work. The uh, returns are great. I think there's going to be some stability. Uh, the reason that the Fairmount is going to be cheap is just because the comps are lower because the smaller sized home, we're dealing with two bedrooms versus one. And as far as West uh, 101st, the reason that's going to be priced lower, we're going to try to pick that up at 45 is because eventually it's going to need a $15,000 reno. It's going to have a, a higher ARV, right? We're, you know, single families are going for, you know, as much as like 75, 80,000 in that neighborhood, right? And it's a big old three bedroom home. So you'll make up for it with your ARV later. Just here, you know, the, you're always going to be limited to a, a very low ARV here. I mean, you know what the ARV is. It's on the market. It's open right now. It's it's repaired. There's no repairs you could do to improve that. You know, it's just a particular size and you're capped at that neighborhood. So two very different uh, ways to do it, right? Uh, two ways to skin a cat, as they say. Again, man, somebody, you know, shoot in the comments below. Explain that phrase to me, dude. That's demented. Um, but yeah, 
What's not demented is, uh, you know, doing both of these deals with you, Dave. I think uh, both these are going to work out good for you. And I think your buddies are going to be impressed with what you've put together. And, uh, you know, you as their guinea pig, I think this would be a, a great way for you to get things started so you guys could put together that type of fund. Um, so, you know, reply to this email. We sent this to you in an email and a private link. And uh, my team will go ahead and put in these offers for you if uh, that's what you'd like to do. If not, tell us what you'd like us to do differently on the next one. And uh, we'll get to work on those. Maybe you're like, you know what, man, I do want some safety and I do want to be back in Parma. I'll pay the 140 for the same amount of rent. Give me a Parma bungalow. That's fine, man. I'll, I'll, I'll start looking around and I'll get you, uh, you know, I'll bring you eight more Parma bungalows if that's what you want, brother. You tell us what you want and we will produce it for you, man. Everybody else, if you're interested in working with me and my team one-on-one -on -one like Dave is, I want you to go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, scroll down to the MLS search and analysis show and order yourself a package. Right now during the coronavirus pandemic, why I am working out of my home office, we are offering a sale. We are doing 10 properties for only $1,999. Now, just because I'm working out of my home office doesn't mean Holton Wise isn't doing the same amount of service for you guys. What we're doing uh, to stick with the CDC and the state guidelines and whatnot is non-essential staff is working off-site, but our essential staff, they're still full systems to go, guys. So, you know, unclogging toilets, replacing roofs, fixing furnaces, my field staff, showing units to tenants, my essential staff, we are still full systems go. So don't be one of those investors that's like, ah, coronavirus, I can't invest in real estate right now. We still have your back at Holton Wise. And to show you that, that's why we are ramping things up and we are offering that sale, giving you guys a 70 to 80% discount on our services to help you guys build portfolios during this trying time. So when the coronavirus uh, nonsense is done with, and I'm back in the Holton Wise TV studio, know that the prices are going back up. So if you're interested in scoring a good deal, even if you're not ready to buy right now, you could purchase the 10 property package and bank those uh, at a later date. If you're six months out from being able to buy, that's cool, man. We can you know, we could do your first video in six months. And then after you, you do a deal, maybe you wait another six months. Real estate's a get rich, slow game. You can't go from zero to a hundred units in uh, two months or anything like that. It's just not practical. Anybody who's telling you uh, you can is not being honest with you guys. Get rich, slow. That's the name of the game, y'all. So go to HoltonWise.com, pick yourself up a package, work with my team. Dave, let us know what you want to do. And just for everybody's clarification, anybody out here who's watching me talk right now and you're not Dave, you're watching this two to three months after Dave, we sent this to him in a private link. I do not release these videos on Holton Wise TV publicly until after the dust settles, after the deals are gone. Don't think that uh, you're going to work around paying for a package and snake my man Dave's deals. If you pay, it remains private until the deals are gone. It's merely an educational piece for the rest of you guys. And if you're not interested in paying for a package, you just want to browse our inventory, go to the investment properties for sale show, subscribe to our mailing list. We'll email it to you every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's going to include video tours of the properties we are selling. We're the number one seller in Cleveland of rentals. So you don't have to pay anything. You can just browse our, our inventory, uh, get all the information and just submit your bids. You're gonna be competing against a lot of other buyers out there. We get multiple offers on all our properties uh, given the uh, scope of our audience. Uh, but those are the two ways you guys can buy from us. That, that's enough out of me. Stay safe out there, folks. As always, I'm James Wise of Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs, I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. 
Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.